हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर गेटिंग द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अपलोडिंग ऑफ वीडियो ऑन वेरियस टॉपिक ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्राई बैक एंड वेट बैक फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर सो रिवर्सिबल चैम्बर और पोस्टीरियर पोर्शन ऑफ बॉयलर कंस्ट्रक्शन चैम्बर थ्रू विज द फ्लू गैसेज ट्रेवल फ्रॉम फर्नेंस फर्स्ट पास टू सेकेंड पास एंड बेस्ड ऑन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस रिवर्सिबल चैम्बर फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू ड्राई बैक एंड वेट बैक बॉयलर सो फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्राई बैक फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर सो हेयर वी कैन सी द डायग्राम ऑफ द ड्राई बैक फायर ट्यूब बॉयलर इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी इट हैज़ अ रिवर्सिबल चैम्बर दैट इज द रियर वॉल दैट इज लाइंड और जैकेट विद रिफ्रैक्ट्री एंड which passes the combustion gases this is the furnace through which uh, this is the first pass the flue gases are coming here and these are collected in the reverse chamber and from reverse chamber in the second pass these are moving in the tubes the red color that indicate the flue gases and the blue color that indicate the water and here only the tubes are surrounded by the water not the reversible chamber and it uses a common rear tube seat and features convenient fire side and water side access and basically it has large functional footprints due to its heavy vessel sized rear door which require sufficient space to open and a cool down period to opening and dry bag boilers are also require regular refractory and tube seat inspections which can be costly maintenance items and basically the frustrating problems brought by the dry back uh, fire tube boilers can be resolved by the wet back fire tube boiler and in the diagram we can see it is a reversible chamber of wet back fire tube boiler these are the flue tubes and this is the furnace and from the furnace after burning of the fuel then the this is the first pass of the flue gases and which are collected in reversible chamber and from reversible chamber in second pass they are moving to the flue tubes and here we can see in the difference in the diagram here reversible chamber that is not surrounded by the water in dry back fire tube boiler but in wet back fire tube boiler all the whole uh, whole portion that is surrounded by the water as we can see this is the blue color that indicating the water that surrounded all the part of the wet back fire tube boiler and in wet back fire tube boiler reversible reversible chamber is jacket or completely completely surrounded by water and which is used to direct flue gases from the furnace to the tube banks and surrounding water absorb the burner heat helping improving the operating efficiency as heat from combustion goes directly into evenly heating water instead of refractory and here you separate tube seat between the tube passes and it offers more optimal functional footprint with the lift off or split hinge door that require no cool down period and can be opened immediately and no expensive refractory to maintain internal pressure vessel maintenance like cleaning etc and uh, it has some advantages also wet back uh, fire tube boiler uh, here no rear door refractory to repair is required no refractory baffling to burn out and less thermal stresses on the tube seats tube ends and it offer maximum sustainable efficiency but uh, dry back fire tube boiler has some disadvantages like deteriorating the rear refractory leaking buffle is here leaking door seals are here and he heat stressed rear tube seats and in it Uh, broken baffles leaking seals will short circuit uh, the boiler gas flow causing the heat high stack temperature and lowering the efficiency until repairs can be made so all these uh, the frustrating problem these are rectified by manufacturing the wet back fire tube boiler so friends if you like this video please share with your friends and students and also on social medias and then don't forget to subscribe and in your double 2 Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.